So much of this is going to be about Sean Taylor and honoring him, retiring his jersey. Finally, number 21 will be retired. Many think that he would have been the best safety in NFL history, tragically murdered in 2007 with a home robbery. And now we'll see his jersey retired. It's going to be a big day, a big moment for this team and for this franchise. And he was a former teammate of RC's in two seasons in Washington. What do you remember about Sean Taylor, the person, the player? Player, what would you like to share, RC? Yeah, I think as a person, I go back to my first opportunity being on the field with him. He was actually injured. I got picked up the day before camp. And at the time, I didn't know how sickle cell trade affected you. And we came straight to camp and did 40 up downs. And then we did all these deep ball drills. And I'm laying on the ground, kind of dying at the time. And he walks over to me and he was like, bro, you got to do something. He's like, if you don't do something, you're not going to be here. And I remember the next practice, I come out and I get two picks and we're in the meeting later on that night. And I'm two years older at the time. And he's like, yeah, bro, like, that's it. And mm. I just remember that first meeting, him being 21 years old, being so confident in himself and being so compassionate to somebody he had just met that day. And then now I think about further down the line, we got to talk in our, the, my last preseason and somebody had asked him, did he, he think his play dropped off because I was no longer there? And his answer wasn't as great as his answer always was about me because he was so tired of hearing it. And he walks over to me and he apologizes. And I tell him, you never have to apologize to me. But he told me how excited he was to be a father, how excited he was to have found uh, a higher power, how excited he was to be the man that he was growing into. And the thing that I hated was I felt like he was taken from us before the world got to see that. He was a great friend. He was a great father. He was an amazing human. And as great as he was on the field, who he was away from there was going to be what left his legacy and impact on the world. It's long overdue for his number to be retired. I don't care what's surrounding it. He was gonna be the best to ever do it. And I was blessed to be his friend. I believe and we that's have... where I'll go, oh, RC. Go ahead, Marcus. Yep. That's where I'll go, RC. RC, that personal relationship you had with him. But I know playing for the Dallas Cowboys, Sean Taylor was the focal point for our offense. They understood that he was a different cat. And he was, a fir he was the first guy. You know how when we walk on the field and say, man, what is that? I ain't never seen that before. <laughs> yeah. That was Sean yeah, Taylor bro. when you showed up to a football <laughs> field. You were thinking yeah. it ain't no way in hell this dude's supposed to play safety and he can run like that and he has hands better than most receivers in the NFL. He can come down in the box and tackle. When you talk about the potential to be the best ever, I say no. He would have clearly been the best safety to ever play the game in the NFL had his career not being cut short by such a tragedy. Yeah, Man, shout out watching. to Sean Taylor. I remember watching him saying, oh, my God, this is unbelievable. I'm not going to be in this league for a long yeah. time if they making dudes like that. <laughs> yeah, even, even I mean, just watching Absolutely. that video, guys, it, it just it just once again brings back all the memories of how incredibly great Sean Taylor was. So congratulations to him and the organization for retiring that jersey. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN+.